When I was growing up, sports meant going outside and roughhousing with the boys. You know, you got some fresh air, got out from under mom's feet, and learned some valuable lessons about the importance of human interaction. But now we have eSports, otherwise known as professional video gaming. And of course, it would be an official sport, not at all, if the big league didn't have its very own drug scandal. The Electronic Sports League is set to introduce drug testing. After a high-ranking player not only admitted to using Adderall, but said the use of the focus-enhancing pill was widespread. This comes right before a huge tournament starts in August with $17.2 million in prize money at stake. $17.2 million. Lauren Lyons Cole, did you know this industry was so big? I actually had no idea it was that big. I, I didn't know it was big. There's money on the line, and it all comes back to money. That's why people are using drugs. I mean, but that's more than Lance Armstrong had to give back. That's right. Well, uh, who had a, I don't even have a problem with Lance Armstrong. Did you ever try to ride a bike without changing your blood, AD? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I have to transfuse my blood if I ride across the park. If I get on a city bike, I carry some extra blood. <laughs> exactly. So what's the problem? These people playing video games, you need to focus if you're eating all those dots sure. or if you're hitting things with hammers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like they're the jocks now. Exactly. They've got their own drug scandal. Congratulations, nerds. Yeah. So why, <laughs> you know, what's the problem with people popping a couple of pills to make sure they do better? It's about excellence, isn't it? I agree. I mean, when I watch The Real Housewives, it's always a lot more interesting when they have a few glasses of wine in them. That's right. right. So is that performance enhancing? I guess so. I and mean, you take a Viagra when you watch that show, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, man. Right. The only so way I can get through it. you take pills to watch it. That's, I think it's gotten out of control. But that's what America's about, freedom, right? Yes, and I think, yeah. And people who have had a couple of belts, they're a little more entertaining, right? Mm -hmm. And isn't that what... <laughs> you can smell the whiskey on your breath. <laughs> yeah. Let me say something that you know. But video games, mm -hmm. I mean, you got to do something to, to, uh, to, to step it up, right? Can I show you something right here, everybody? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Look what Tom uses. That's just a little... This is a performance-enhancing drug. It is. That's true. What are they going to ban next, Lisa? Coffee? <laughs> you know, when you play video games, you drink a lot of coffee, right? It helps you focus. And Doritos. Yes. And hot punk... Pockets? Is that what they are? Hot pockets. Hot, 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 hot pockets. Yeah, yeah. there's a joke about that. Somebody does a joke about that. I can't remember who. <laughs> the best comedian in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but have, it seems like people that are into online gaming might actually take Adderall for real. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you mean for real? What is it besides the well, help? Oh, they, they might actually need yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. They might yeah. actually need and it. And they happen to be uh, good at video games. Yeah. Oh, that makes so sense. There you right? go. So yeah. if it's a real drug that helps real people, how can you ban it for the video games? We've solved that problem. Very